Hello and welcome to our show, Film Talk with AJ Dean. I'm AJ Dean, your host, and I've got the impeccable and very handsome, newly, newly uh, beauty salon co-host with me, Paul Vato. Paul, how are you doing? You look fabulous. Oh, wonderful. Thank you, AJ. Yes, I finally got my my hair cut. I, I don't think you've seen it this way because it's always it's been long for a while and uh, finally had the time to go get it cut and voila so hopefully people are seeing this on video they're like we, we can't see anything because this is a podcast but make sure you guys come and see the video version it's on youtube <laughs> yes it's on thank you so much paul you 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 look so great and we've got a very special vip guest i know it's going to be fun tonight so let me uh, introduce her just a little bit her name is nicole Butler. She's also known as Nicole Vegas. That's how I like to refer to her. Nicole Vegas. Isn't that classy? She's an actress, producer, and red carpet host. She also has her own show. So let's give her a very warm welcome. Hey, Nicole. So glad you're here. How are you? Thank you so much for having me on and welcoming me and um, putting a spotlight on these upcoming events that I have going on that other people can be a part of. So um, I'm excited. Like I said, I'm trying to control my energy and pace myself, but when there's a lot of good opportunities for other people to be part of something, I just, I want, I want to share it. I want people to be part of it. I don't want them to miss the opportunity to make those connections. Absolutely. Well, let's get right into it. I have my notes here that say uh, something about very exciting coming up, Days of the Dead. Is that right? That's correct. Days of the Dead is happening next week for three days. Veterans and children 12 and under get in for free. Um, I think they still have ticket sales going on and it'll be at the Plaza three days. And there's like the Terrifier group. I don't know if you watch horror, horror movies, all the Jasons. I was sharing about uh, meeting Richard Dreyfus and Dee Wallace. And uh, there's a whole bunch of talent there, plus businesses. So I, I recently checked out Nightmare Store and Nightmare Cafe, which is such good. The food is so delicious there. Um, because they're going to be part of the upcoming film, uh, Desert Fiends, that I'm putting Beautiful. together. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to talk about that. I want to check in with Paul. Paul, doesn't that sound exciting? Days of the Dead. Have you been to it? I, I have not, but I love the fact that it's basically right in my backyard, especially, you know, it sounds like it's going on downtown. So it's definitely something I want to check out and come and support. Uh, so, uh, hey, I'll, I'll make an appearance. I'll be there. Uh, my you know, my copier video where I photocopy my butt, that's pretty scary. So maybe, maybe they'll want to have me there. You know, especially when you just said that, maybe, you know, they'll be the talk of what's going on. Uh, yeah. But please come by my booth. I have a booth there for three days through social media shows network and Vegas views. And I'd love to do a little interview also um, at the booth. Oh, you know what? That would, that would be wonderful. What is, uh, what is your booth? Are you mostly interviewing people or are you promoting some of your projects? Um, I'm, well, there I'll have also uh, my Project Desert Themes banner, but uh, it's for Vegas Views and for connecting the business to talent and for them to maybe uh, probably want to have a one-on-one -on -one more, but it's just putting uh, the word out there that there's connections and social media shows through Maria Preza. Uh, and we do red carpet events, you know, all that kind of stuff, which is really fun. I mean, this this showbiz industry, there's so many different avenues to go in. Sure. I just can't decide which one yet. I'm like, I'm like, this one, this one, this one. Uh, I mean, well, it's it's amazing that that you're so new to the industry. I I feel I think this is what we talked about when we first met at the Move Me No Mountain premiere. But and you were even newer then. But you're so new, but yet you've really integrated yourself into the community. And also have accomplished so much in such a short period of time. So that's amazing. It just goes to show you that, you know, a lot of, and it does, it takes, you know, a lot of years of connections and whatnot, but you can also hustle and make it happen. And I don't mean hustle in a bad way. I mean, you know, just get out there and, and work on projects and meet people. Uh, and it can happen a lot quicker for some than others. So thank you for sharing that. Thank you so much for um, giving a shout out. Like this month is two years, been in it two years now. It, it, it 
and you know, you know so much has gone on and it, I was sharing that you know processing it all the the, the commercials the movies um the red carpet events the interviews learning stunts um, there's so many ranges that you can go in so everyone's like well which one do you want and that's that's the good question I I can't decide yet I don't know I just had somebody offer to do stand-up comedy I was like oh let me let me I, at least you can't get tomatoes thrown at you right <laughs> yeah, I, I actually now own a tomato tie so that uh, I can wear that and go like, hey, I've already got tomatoes. You don't need to throw tomatoes out. It was given to me by an amazing local Vegas actor. Uh, and I wish I could remember Sean is his name, spelled maybe S-H-O-N. And uh, I, he, he, I met him at Buca de Beppo and he was nice enough to give me his tie. So shout out to Buca de Beppo right here in my neighborhood. It's amazing eat right now i'm trying to eat healthy ish i always say healthy ish because by the end of the day i, I usually uh, i go for the pasta or i go for the the fudge in a jar that's that's how i cope fudge in a jar <laughs> fudge in a jar <laughs> um, so i i do want to share about desert beans coming up and i'm glad that you're interested and wanting to be part of it so i will connect you with sean c phillips the writer and mm -hmm. director um, as soon as this is done, because, you know, he gets so piled up with so many people reaching out to him, but I really do want to put a spotlight on Vegas talent and business. I think it'll be wonderful to have you aboard. Oh, I would love to. Wow. Thank you. Yeah. That, that, that would be, that would be amazing. And any way I can help out, whether it's being a part of the production, being an actor in it or uh, making some connections, oh, yeah. uh, either way, I, I would love to be a part of it. Thank you. Oh, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, it's going to be a, a horror comedy. Have you done those before? I've done plenty of comedy and I'm trying to think if I've done, I don't think I've done any horror, but it's, it's, I'm always a big proponent. Um, you know, as we all know, uh, you know, I, I did improv back in the day with Jordan Peele and he's really excelled in the genre of, of horror. So uh, it's something I've always wanted to do, but especially if you're going to mix it with comedy you know, I, that's something that's right up my alley because the, the comedy part I have I have down. And I would be very interested in seeing how the horror is done because, it you know, when they're done, when all is said and done, they're scary. But it can't be that way when you're on set, you know, because we're actors and we're acting. So I would love to see the behind the scenes uh, to, to how a horror film is actually produced. But a horror comedy, that's right up my alley. Oh, I'm excited. I can't wait. I did make this. I got to share it. Because we're still, we have like nine days left. Can I do it on this side? That would work better. This is for our Indiegogo campaign. So a lot of people can be part of it one way or another. Um, I am working with Neil Patel for the post-production of it. And I also mm. shared with AJ that um, I'm going to be part of the Bollywood Hollywood Film Festival through Neil Patel. And he's uh, he's going to be, I'm going to be sharing that information a little bit because he just sent it to me. Uh, and he's, he's also uh, a director and a filmmaker out here. Somebody that you should connect to as well. Really good people. Oh, amazing. Wonderful. And that's such a great idea to, to do a, to do a code like that, that somebody can just scan it. Yeah. Yeah. Hold it up. Somebody can just yeah. uh, hold their phone up to it, scan it, and then and then uh, go right right to the Indiegogo. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Um, I, I've been um, putting things together because I feel that, uh, I mean, I know now that I know that you guys are, are interested in being part of it, I I mean, maybe you can even have your talk show set up there. I don't know. I have two already because I really want to have a spotlight on the talent and learning for them to how to market themselves. I think a lot of people are talented. They don't know how to talk. They don't know how to market themselves. And they don't know how to put themselves out there. And I think that is what they're missing to go a little further and get more connected. Yes, yes, absolutely. And speaking of Desert Fiends, um, it's a, like we said, it's a film by Sean C. Phillips. We want to give a shout out to him and acknowledge him. And then also produced by Nicole Vegas. And so you've produced all of this. You're um, in the, are you in the stages of, of uh, wanting investors? Tell us about that, Nicole. Well, for the investors, we have a lot of people on board that are um, putting money in. Uh, the thing is we can't have too big. Like it can't be so much money where uh, I think it will change things up a little bit. Uh, what Sean was telling me, see if Sean was here, he'd be able to fill you in. Sean oh, yes. <laughs> uh, have to get him on board. And I think it goes into demand. So there's always ways to be part of it. And um, I let Sean know, you know, with the post-production part with Neil Patel is gonna help out 
We also have David Rodriguez, who's the 14 Emmy winner here. Probably oh, went to the studio and his sound, he worked on the Hunter. He showed me, it was fabulous. He's been asking me for probably like two years. Nicole, come to my studio, come to my studio. And she didn't until he like, and you need to come today. I Now that you're doing this film here. And so I went and he's fabulous. So talented. And I love when people come together and they want to make a movie. And that part to me is uh, the passion, the drive, the connection and that collaboration um, that I, I love. That part okay. is right up my alley. I, I love it too. And I do want to give a shout out, a special shout out to Deborah Richards because hi, Deborah. Thank you. We love you, Deborah. Debbie. Yes, and that's how we met, Nicole, you and I, and uh, we met on the red carpet. Now, I do want to talk a little bit about that. In my mind, you are the classic red carpet host of Vegas. You are the top and the number one, and here's why. I love old Hollywood, just like Paul does, you know, all the good parts of old Hollywood and all the glamour, you know, like Greta Garbo and Rita Hayworth and Nicole you have that glamorous image. You conduct yourself very um, respectfully and you've got a great personality. Don't you Don't you agree, Paul? I do. I, and I love that. I, I do love the, the elegance, the, the, you know, the, the, the old steak places, Musso and Frank's if you're in Hollywood. And you're right, all the good stuff of old Hollywood. And I get that there is a new Hollywood, but but there is something about the, gl the glitz and the glamour of old school Hollywood and Vegas too. I mean, you know, the Rat Pack were just so instrumental here, and and uh, all those all those uh, events that have been held, uh, especially red carpet events. And Nicole is like the consummate presenter, if you will, yes. uh, for red carpet events. So that's fantastic. It's a, that's a that's a that's a great observation, AJ. Oh, thank you so much, Paul. Yeah, I'm hoping to continue on that path. Um, I'm, I had a lot of people reach out to me. Sometimes I couldn't be on there because I already made prior commitments. Because they're like, why can't you do ours? I already made a commitment. I mean, I wish I could clone two of me or three of me at a time. And then <laughs> you'd really be very productive. But then you have to be careful on picking and shoes and um, double booking is, that's a, Mm, not good <laughs> yes learning that too I'm like oh no I double book what am I going to do oh. so there's a, there's a lot of do's and don'ts and people don't tell just like my name's Nicole Butler that's on my IMBD page however before I even went to the showbiz on my Facebook it's Nicole Vegas so now it's I'm like married into the name Nicole Butler Vegas so if you yeah. google me Nicole Butler Vegas things will pop up yeah. um and I didn't realize that people you don't know and you don't know what direction or how quick the pace will be. And sometimes you have to keep up. I mean, there's days that I, I felt like I was drowning with so many people pulling at me and no one tells you how to center yourself. You got to figure that out on your own and be like, all right, this, this, I, I have to say no to some things. I, there's people that came up to me with projects recently and they're like, I really want you a part of this. I want you to be part. Of it. And I, I was like, I can't because I'm already committed to something. I can't because if I, if, I, if I start dividing it more and more, then I'm only given that portion. And I can't, I have to give 100% of whatever I'm doing to whatever project or whoever I'm helping out. It can't be that because then I, I'm not going to do well. It, it'll be a poor performance and I don't want that. Such a good point. Um, Paul, do you have to keep your boundaries up too so you don't get pulled uh, nine ways from Sunday? Oh yeah. Yeah. That, that's the thing. That was the toughest thing for me because, you know, it, it used to be that I just, I would hate to say no to anything or anyone, but then you, you end up failing at a lot of other things because you're not focused. So I think that's about boundaries. I think that was, that's the, the key word there is, is learning about boundaries and learning to, that it's okay to say no and not just take on everything because, you know, same with like Nicole, it's, it's, I wish I could clone myself because I do want to do all the events. I do want to be at all the parties. But sometimes, you know, you can't. And, you know, it's uh, it's I just just the way it is. I remember people would say, like, I just left this other party. Weren't you there? And I would get around and say, like, oh, that was probably my twin brother. But yeah, you know, especially in Hollywood, you, you'd hit all the hot spots. And they're like, I thought I just saw you over there. I'm like, yeah, 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 that's that's probably my twin. But it's yeah, uh, yeah it's not easy. And uh, it's OK to say no. Well, now that I have two names, Nicole Butler and two, Nicole Vegas, I'll just be like, oh, I, that was Nicole Butler. That wasn't Nicole Vegas that went to that one. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I don't know. I'd just be nice. goofy. I'd be goofy. I'll just be like, oh, that Nicole Butler. Yeah, she's very responsible with that Nicole Vegas. Now I got to watch out for that one. I don't know. I don't know. It's like two split, 
and that's a thing too. In showbiz, I think it could be very consuming. Mm -hmm. You could be a workaholic. I have a family too. I've been married. I was gonna say you have a family, right? My life for twenty five years, uh, mm -hmm. wife and mother, for twenty five years of it, and then going into this. That's how it centers me because I do have a family. If not, I, th I think I would never, I'd just be gone. I just would never, I'd just be keep going and going and probably burn myself out. And that part, you, you do have to be careful. Um, I, I know there's people that are just starting to act things like me. I was like, oh, this will be easy, easy peasy. My first set um, was a hard because they bought me with my first half hardly through the cleaning lady. They paired me with this young guy. I'm like, is this a cougar scene? I was very confused. I go, I go, don't even get frustrated with me. I'm your mother's age, but I'm going to hold your arm because I'm like, go to Mark two, reset. What are they saying to me? It was the longest, you're holding that glass wrong. Look over at this camera. It, 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 that was my first experience, uh, but it was big production, Warner Brothers. And I got very fortunate. And I always want to thank Julie Goldman because she does casting out here. Very appreciate over her. Um, and uh, David Anthony Prada, they do casting out here. And they've helped me along so well with so much experience. And then those other experiences, I got to work on other sets with other people's productions. Everybody enjoyed the good work ethic, but then I learned the crew side. The crew side's different. It's longer hours. It's more work. I, I think it's harder on the crew side than it is to know my lines, know my character, the background, all that. Because so it's just me. But on the crew side, you, sometimes you wear many hats. Mm -hmm. So PA and learning the grip, uh, learning slate. Uh, what else did I was being a producer, uh, scouting locations. I was like scouting location. It took me three weeks for desert fiends, three solid weeks of getting six different locations, really fun locations. So I can't wait. Um, little by little to unravel it, but I have to wait cause I don't want to disclose it and then have people that shouldn't show up on the set. Cause that can cause, um, liabilities or security issues and everything depending sure. on who they know so I do get where you have to be safe mm -hmm. absolutely and Paul and I understand that completely um and and you're doing great Nicole I just want to let you know you're doing great and this is a little bit about Nicole Paul check this out she was born in New York uh, raised in Buffalo she's been in the Air Force she moved to Vegas. She's been a law enforcement officer. Thank you for that, Nicole. Um, she's also been a US Postal Service employee. Wow, and she does a lot of volunteering projects for the community. She's all about her heart, about um, helping people. She's also won special awards. I don't know if they're top secret or not, but it was something to do with Saudi Arabia. And uh, is that right, Nicole? <laughs> Oh, um, when I was deployed there, it was for four months back in 99. Um, you do get medals. Um, I'm a veteran. Uh, and each step of the way, though, it, it was weird how many jobs. I did a lot of different jobs. Hi. Huh? People are like, I always maintained my family. But I was always like, I always wanted to do certain jobs. So I tried out for it. And then I made it. But then the bad outweighed the good. Say, so even in law enforcement, the things I had to see on the street every day, North Las Vegas. <laughs> different. Quite different. Uh, yeah. Post office, mail handler, that was 70 pound sacks of mail. Throwing in this ODR cart and loading him nonstop into a truck. That's probably the worst job I ever had uh, physically. I couldn't bend my, I couldn't feel my hands, my feet. It, it was just very grueling. A lot of people would come up to me and they'd be like, you don't look like you belong here. I'm like, it's a story of my life, isn't it? So maybe I belong in showbiz. I don't know yet. It's, it's two years in so far. Every time I was like, maybe, you know, I'm good. I had my experience. Something, something wheels me in. Like something catches me again. They're like, nope, but we, oh, she, we almost got that one away. Let me, let me get her. Let's get her. Hurry. <laughs> um, so it, it is exciting. I do see some comedy. Uh, I see some comedy skills there. What do you say, Paul and Nicole? <laughs> yeah, de yeah, definitely. And that's always what's, you know, truth and comedy. It's usually what's the, the funniest is if it's based in some kind of reality, because I could I could almost picture a show with Nicole, you know, in all those jobs, you know, and then and then uh, I mean you can write stories about that. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, and I found out I think you have to be a, a little crazy or extra crazy and to adapt into this showbiz. There is something, um, you know, we all climb that mountain differently. In this path, I'm like, oh, like, yeah. I was like, I'm always I'm like, should I walk into that? What do they say that saying? 
that the cave you fear has a treasure you seek. Oh. Oh, I know. <laughs> I get retired. I think I do get goofy. You know, there's things where yeah, I, I was told I beat to my own drum by many different people. So there must be some truth behind it. There's multiple people that don't know each other that give me that feedback. Uh, but you have to have fun. Um, sometimes I'm too responsible because I think in this industry, you have to, there's a sense of responsibility. Uh, the more you build your platform, I feel like it's more responsible because then there's more people following you or looking up to you or inspiring mm -hmm. and you don't want to let people down. You know, you want to, you want to show them a better way of doing being. Um, and that's why I did that nonprofit. So when there's something going on out here, especially when, you know, the COVID happened, I, people like there was panic and they reached out to me from other states. They couldn't get their, uh, their parents that were elderly to food. So the Just One Project, the Three Square Meal, Project for Humanity, Shade Tree, uh, Burn Foundation, uh, there's St. Jude's, there, there's so many. Um, there's ways to get housing, medical, dental, um, manpower will help hire, even if you get out of prison and have a, a personal background like a felony. People just don't know the resources. So there's good ways if you volunteer enough to redirect them to get the, the, the help they need to have a better life. Because our rages, they deserve that. They don't deserve because um, they can't afford medication or housing or food for their family. Some of the kids, they don't get they don't get any food. The food they get is at the schools. So, you know, there's a lot that goes on. So be that change. And I, I have connected with a lot of fellow helpers globally. That's why I like Neil Patel, too. He wants to be global connected. And I also feel that way. I want to pull everybody together and hug them and let's let's do this you got this so yeah be be then but also i have to find out with the showbiz i'm getting better managing it but at the same time it, it's 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 very draining at the same time so i'm like mm, i feel tired and i used to i used to go out a lot now i'm like do i have to go out I'm like, oh. I'm like and if you go out and go to a party and then somebody invites you to another party, you're like, well, you went to her party. You didn't go to my party. It's like, I did go to a party, you know? I was like, I can't go to every party. Cause then, then you, what I learned too is for every yes, you say, you say no to something else. And that's really important. You can be saying no to your, your children or your husband or your family or, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. you gotta, you gotta pick your yeses and nos. Absolutely. Uh, right on. And, you know, Paul and I feel that too. And being in the industry, you know, we've learned that, and Paul can say, uh, speak for himself as well. I'm going to ask him about this, but from my opinion, it's all about relationships and being authentic and honest and respectful. And, you know, there's no place for ego or attitude. Um, and, you know, sometimes we have encountered that and then you just pull back a little bit um, you know, and try to solve it as best you can. Um, so Paul, what do you say about the inter the entertainment industry and relationships? It's balance. You know, it's all about, it's all about balance because you're right. If you're saying yes to something, you're saying no to something else. So kudos to those, especially that can maintain a family and, and home life and something in front of the camera. Cause that, that can't be easy. You, you know, if, if you're out and about and you're with your kids and, you know, so somebody yells out something, you know, because they're excited. They want to meet you or, you know, especially if, if uh, uh, I th was it Dr. Ken that was talking about that, you know, people would yell out his famous lines and, and you're like, Hey, come on, I'm front I'm, I'm with my kids. You can't say that in front of kids, but you know, people are just, they're, they're excited. So it's, it's all about, I think it's balance and boundaries. So, yeah. I, th I think that's something that we need to know that that's important and maybe respect other people's, you know, balance and, and boundaries. So, you know, keep that in mind. If you see somebody that, you know, just give them a nod and a wave and you're like, Hey, I know who you are, but uh, that's all, you know, <laughs> just say hello. <laughs> I don't know. That's they right. Get too bitty though. They might be like, Oh, that's the only time I'm ever going to meet this person or they can't, right. they ran into you or meet. Um, and that's another thing people won't talk about the industry too, is when people, when you do get more recognized and, um, people pay attention. So it's, you know, that's, it feels like a little stressful and then also more responsibility because you yes. don't, uh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. And, and also as you get more popular, you will have P you will have, uh, I'm sorry to say this, but you will have possibly haters. Um, I've seen it with, <laughs> 
right? I've seen it with um, some of my friends. So, um, and so what do you think, what advice would you give Nicole two years in um, and now you're in the, you're in the thick of it in the entertainment industry and you've got a lot of options, a lot of paths before you that you could take. What would you give advice to someone coming into the entertainment industry? So you, you, you can't focus on other people's winnings. You, you really have to focus and build on yourself. So you put all that energy and you're self-projecting and you're insecure. That's, that's reflection on them not working and putting in the effort they need to, to excel. So I, I either have the people that are inspired and I have a lot of that, or I have people that are insecure and I have some of that too, that they're, you know, they've sent me messages like, how are you getting that? I should be getting that. Oh yeah. I got stuff all day long. Um, and then I try to redirect it and I try to give them advice, but it's really them putting the work into themselves yes. and they just have to say or do no matter what they already have an image or they would be like, Oh, if I look like you, I was like, well, if you look at me, that'd be boring. I was like, I already have this look, get your own look. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <I'll> copy. <laughs> um, but, and then there's people, you know, it's, it's everybody, everybody goes through a struggle or they have their moments and I'm understanding and uh, I'm very supportive, but then I can't have it constantly downing on me or maybe I, I have some self-reflection too. Sometimes I could have handled something better. A lot of self-reflection in this industry. Um, and I, I had my limits where people kept on jabbing at me and then I, you know, handled it and they would, you know, there was like, oh, you are human. Things do affect you. I was like, of course they do. I was like, but sometimes I'm I'm good at you know military bearing and you know stuff like this. But uh, in this industry, you know, there's all there's so many people. That's the thing that people don't share. There's so many people, thousands. I mean, there's so much flooding in. I I don't think anybody could handle that many people. And met, you know the people that have been in this industry paying their dues thirty plus years that are very well known. I I wonder how I would love to hear how they cope and how they just they, they probably mastered how to tune it out so they can center themselves and have a peace of mind so there, there's a lot that goes on and it's it's something that if you would have shared with me when I first started two years ago I'd be like oh I've got that no maybe I don't have it and there's a lot of truth for each person that goes through something some people aren't getting enough was it feast or fan fan famine blah, blah, famine um, no. Yeah, yeah, you got yeah, it. I'm, I'm trying to connect to as many people as I can and I'll redirect them or I'll tell them uh, get acting classes. Why? Because everyone's like, oh, I don't. Yes, you do. You need to know you're blocking your marks, your character uh, building, your craft. I mean, even Debbie was like, Nicole, you, you're fine with marketing. Learn your craft. Learn your craft. I'm like, hmm. So tons of acting coaches. A lot. I spent a lot of money in acting coaches, a lot of money in stunt classes, a lot of money um, with just traveling for jobs. I mean, everything. My husband had to take off work then because we have a younger son. So there's a lot to, is it worth it? So if anything, the bad always a good. It's kind of like you have to take that step back and reevaluate um, because you don't want to get pulled into nonsense. There's a lot of people too, um, I think they say they fake it till they make it. I said, you'll fake it your whole life. That doesn't even make sense. I found I found out people buy uh, followers and likes. Yeah, that's fake. Yeah, we you know, I just found that out. So I was like, what's, what do you, yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out there's, and then you have to take a step back too, because I don't know who's real and who's not. And that part is so exhausting. So then I'll be like, what's your IMDb page? And then I'm going to check all your work and stuff like that. I go, Everything I say and do, you can back. I I can back it up. So if you want me and you want to hire me to do all the work, you have to also show me that you've also done that work too. Why would I work with somebody that's done less work? That wouldn't even make sense. Good point, Nicole. All good points, and I love how you brought in balance and relationships, like what Paul was saying, and to keep those boundaries up. And I think um, I'm guessing, but I think some of the people that have been 20, 30 years um, in the been in the industry, they also have those boundaries up. Paul, like you, because you've been in many years in the industry. How many, Paul, have you been in the industry? Gosh, I mean, it's 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 been over over 20 years if you count. 20 years. Yeah, if you count Chicago and starting to do improv there and then getting on my first TV show in Chicago right around 2000. Oh so yeah, 22, 23 years. Uh, 
but really seriously, since I moved to LA in 2000, so even, yeah, that's, that's over 20 years in, in the industry in one way or another. And then, you know, sure. I took a hiatus coming to Vegas to, to sell cigars, but now that I'm, I'm back into the acting, you know, I, I was never really gone from the acting. I just, but thanks to Julie uh, Goldman, same thing. You know, she's the one that got me on the trust with Nicolas Cage. And then um, also on this Uber Eats commercial that I did for like the Super Bowl a couple of years ago. So yeah, a, a big shout out to, to Julie Goldman in Vegas. Yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, we love Julie Goldman. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I give her a lot of shout outs because you, <laughs> you don't realize uh, what good she does for the community here in the towns here in Vegas. I mean, she really does. Imagine if we didn't have her, there'd be nothing going on here. So thank you, Julie Goldman. Yeah, I, a lot of, I think she had enough though. If she does see this, I should tag her. Be like, just let you know, we talked about you a little bit. <laughs> we should have her on, AJ. We'll we have to have our podcast or on our podcast here. Yeah, we should. I don't have a direct connection with her, but maybe you guys could extend a, an invitation. Sure. Yeah. Us. Um, Exciting. Yeah, that would be great. And and Paul, so you are one of the veteran actors in the industry. Um, and so what did you think of Nicole? She's doing great, isn't she? Yeah, that's that's amazing. And and you're right. You know, she's going to get a lot of hate because, you know, I'll, I'll get the same thing. Like people go like, hey, how'd you book that? And, you know, really, the question is, how come you got it? But I didn't, you know, so so I try to be careful because, you know, I, I am genuinely very happy for people when they get something. So I will reach out and I'll say, hey, congratulations. Great job. But I'm not thinking like, well, how come you got it? And I did not because, you know, maybe it's not your role to get type of a thing. It was never your role. And I've lucked into roles, if you will, where they were going in a different direction and they ended up going with me. Yay. But I've also lost roles that weren't mine you know to, to lose so uh because they they went in a different direction so i think it just it, as long as you're willing to show up and do the work uh you should you should be fine and you can't do them all i mean it's, no. And, no. and the ones that want one and they haven't maybe in a while acted there's millions out there yeah get, yeah get off your tush yeah. and get to work get put yourself out there market yourself i've had people ask me to be their manager I say, I'm too new. I can't do all your work. I have to learn my work. I can't do, you know, but 20, 20, over 20 years, I can't even, I can't even express like, oh, it's, it's hard or anything because you're like, you haven't even put 20 years in Nicole. It's like me, you know, when you talk to somebody that has like nine kids and I had three, I raised, I have to talk to somebody that has one kid to be sympathetic to me. I can't, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. you got 20 years. I'm like, oh, I can't even, but you understand the dynamics. That's the thing. Everything that I'm going through, there is a process. You, it's it's a it's like when you get squeezed, do you focus or do you fold? Sink or swim? How do you get it done? How do you navigate when there is a challenge? Always upward, always moving forward, always upward, always positive. And I love that about you, Nicole. And Paul and I are just like that. Um, and I just I want to say um, it's so great that you're here. It's I'm having such a fun time talking and getting to know you and all your fun projects and i want to find out what you want to promo um yeah what do you got there show us let's, let's... so i have tea that i usually do but i put I, I just had like the lavender kind but i was gonna put this in it i got it from the um, i got it from that uh nightmare store but look at all these particles if i would have drank drink that it would have been all my teeth i was like you know what i'm gonna <laughs> say that till after i talk to both of you so okay so that. what kind of tea is it and where do you get it this is from Nightmare Store. It's um, it says it's a colorful common tart tea approved by Captain himself. It's Ooh. organic ingredients, so hibiscus, peppermint. It just seems nice and relaxing, but it's particles. And I felt if I drank, you know, it would have been all in that tea. It would have been all in there. <laughs> you know what? You would have made it look beautiful, Nicole. You everything you touch. <laughs> You're like, what's in her teeth? <laughs> You're like, David, like question of the day. What did? What's in her teeth? I love those kind of products, though. I love tea like that. It's so good. It's got hibiscus in it, right? And all that good stuff. I do have what else do you have? Share. What I else do you have? Well, I have something to share. Um, my son, uh, he's going to be 22 years old. Aww. He's my baby. And Happy birthday. Yeah, he's actually in the Marine boot camp right now. He graduates March. So we What's his name? Banner. His name's Kyle Gregg. Hi Kyle, how are you? Hope you're yes, doing. Yeah, we, we don't. I haven't talked to him um, in a while. 
they don't have any communication unless the drill instructor, but it, um, I went to boot camp. nothing like he experienced. So he had some hardships, um, more than what was expected. So, um, you know, I'm putting out there, you know, pr protecting him and, um, hopefully like, he has like a, I think two and a half weeks left. Amazing. So what do you want to say to him if he sees this? I, I bet he's I so you. I love you and happy birthday. I'm thinking of you every day. Um, I know you're going to be 22 years old, February 12th. Um, but always my child. I know, I know they say cut the cord, but you can't when you're a mother. Never, never, ever. Love you. Kyle he'll, always, <laughs> he'll always be your son. Always. Oh, yes, I hope so. Unless he gets married and then she takes her away. But not 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 happening right now. <laughs> Welcome back. I wonder what happened. I was wondering where you went. Like froze the picture. Oh, I Paul's yeah, Paul's back. Hey Paul. Yes, hi Paul. So um, we also wanted to talk about back on the strip. Now, this is, I don't, I'm not sure if we can talk a lot about it because there's, it's a secret special project, but the, you can see the poster on here back on the strip and it's, and it, it's, let's say it's an exciting production, right, Nicole? It, yes, because um, only like, said what you, Julie, only, Julie only Goldman said, got yeah. me on that set. Um, she called oh, me from cool. Hawaii and she applied for it. I was worried about double booking. And she said it was going to be uh, me just driving a kid to school, like a parent. I'm like, oh, I can do that for you. Well, it wasn't. It was secret. And I got to work with Kevin Hart. Wow. Yeah. He was, like, he was great. He's, he's, he was so nice to everyone. He's like, you can get a picture. I was like, I can't take pictures. I, I wish I could have. But there was somebody on set that took pictures. So eventually when this comes out, I guess in April, it's a really funny scene. I enjoy, I can't share the scene though, I guess, until it comes yeah, out. Yeah. Paul shared Paul shared with me you don't share scenes until they come out. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, it and and uh, yeah, because <laughs> you don't want to ruin the surprise, especially if, if it makes it into the film. And so many things can change a lot of times, you know. They they might actually, God forbid, the scene gets cut. I mean, you still no, get credit no. and you still get paid, but you know, it changes the dynamic of the film. Sometimes it it, it just that's just the way it is. I mean. I've done projects where I knew I was in it and then it comes out and I'm not in it. So, uh, but then once it's out, yeah, let the world know and hopefully they'll even oh, send wow. you uh, uh, elements that you can use in your social media. So and the reels, yes, that's all I want. I mean, it was a scene, we had to take it in different angles. So he, they mm -hmm. had, they, after him, then the camera had to go on me with the expressions and um, the clown walked by, I had to say something. <laughs> so I, I hope I hope it comes out exactly like that um now csi season one i was on season two you saw me for clips but season one i mean they had with murder the magician and i was able to i thought we we're doing all these scenes together nothing zero even 10 uh, seconds when they had the camera just on me because i had like the sketch of the the perpetrator that took one of the detectives nothing showed up i was but they do have a picture of me on csi um in the picture thing on uh imbd i was like see uh, i got at least a picture but yeah, it happens, and I was so new, I didn't know. Was that was that? Oh, I was like, wait a minute! I was like, we don't see you. I'm like, hold on, let me frame my fr nothing. Nothing. <laughs> so it was it with, with Murray? Murray Soch Sochuk, oh magician. Gosh, Murray, now I'm on his um uh Tubi. Check out his Tubi he put up. I was on his magic show. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's funny. And hopefully, he's on Desert Fiends. He's he was all happy saying yes. So. There is some talent, and uh, I love Murray. He's he's a great guy. A Fantastic yeah. character and awesome. Um, but each person I've always been on, like um, Bar Rescue, I got to work then with a Chef Vic Vegas, and he owns Sinful Subs out here. Really good food there. I could eat that all day. Uh, and then I went on Paradise Foods and got to eat this big burger. I can't eat that again, though. I was like, I waited a whole year. I was like, I cannot eat that again. I was like, one of those... Uh, one take, that's all it's gonna, I can't do. Not gonna get, <laughs> nothing else is gonna fit in this stomach after this massive burger. It's the best, tastiest sugar, I don't know, pancake, bur triple burger maybe? I don't know, it was the biggest burger ever. And I did pack it away. I did eat it all. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, Nicole. <laughs> I feel hungry right now, but I'm just gonna have my tea. Okay. The gym, 
It was very hard after two years of not going. People were like, where, where have you been? I, go, I, can't, I can't tell you the whole two years. I said, but I'm in, in show biz now. I said, do you want to be part of Desert Beans? I said, do you want to learn this? And people are like, they don't know the process. I, I, maybe too much, too much. Got a little bit, a little bit of information. Yeah. That's wonderful. Okay. And, um, you know, it, it's, well, it, the time has just gone so fast. So I want to ask you if you want to promote anything else or give another shout out to anybody. And then we're going to do our heart messages. That's like our motto, something for the world, you know, on our heart that we can express. Um, and uh, so, okay. So back to you, Nicole. What, what else would you like to talk about or promote? Any shout outs or anything? Oh, you have Vegas View, right? You, we mentioned that. So yeah, if people want to be on the talk show, um, they can go through social media shows network, Mira Preza and schedule in. I'm only on Tuesdays. That's it. So okay. once a week. Uh, other than that, I mean, I guess they could do a Zoom if they're out of state, but it's been mostly uh, in person. I, I have only done one Zoom with Ozzy. Capri, which I worked on set with. Um, but thank you so much. No, I'm excited about this desert themes. This is um as soon as I wake up, I close my eyes, I dream about it. I'm like, the sky's the limit. Uh with this feature film, there's so much possibilities, and I love that part of it. So um I'm very eager to get it started. And I, I have to what's it? The patience is a virtue. Patience yep. is a virtue. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> I do love the I do love the poster here, Desert Fiends. I want everyone to check that out and look at it. Um, and that's so spooky and scary. Um, uh, you know, like, um, it's like the hills have eyes, wrong turn. So if you look up on IMBD, you'll see the cast. There's like over 100 people. There, it's a big one. It's big. Wow, this is great. This is great. Okay, so let's do our heart message. Actually, I want to go over to Paul. Paul, do you want to promote anything this week? Uh, just paulvato.com. If you go there, you can connect with me. Uh, if you're still interested, please buy my book. If you go, if you go to vato.tv, it'll take you right directly to the Amazon uh, store where you can pick it up. Or again, paulvato.com. That will get you uh, all of my information and uh, IMDB and, and everything. If you want to collaborate, uh, listen to my podcast, Paul Vato Presents, wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And uh, I don't know if I have any Vato cigars. If you want cigars, reach out paulvato uh, dot com. There, there it is. Thank you. That's cool. Perfect That's book. Paul. So check out Paul Vato Vato cigars, the best hand rolled cigars on the West Coast. That's my statement right there thank you um, <laughs> so i'm going to do my heart message first of all i want to say nicole you're absolutely wonderful you're such a a beautiful guest um it's so great to get to know you you're going to do so well i'm so proud of you look how far you've come in only two years and look how you've got it you've got it going girl you are on fire so we love you we support you everything's going to go well and it's going to turn out even better than expected. And that's what we speak over you. Thank you so much for the, the goodness and the energy and the support. Um, and when I met you at um, Debbie Richards' uh, movie, No Mountain, it, it was fabulous. Um, good energy, love, um, and anything that you ever need from me. You have a friend in Vegas. Um, I definitely had a little bit like, I want to call it like an emergency um, just, just let me know. Uh, my husband works at the airport too. So if, if you're ever having an issue, just connect with me. Um, I, I know enough people here. I've been out here 18 years. So I just want to send, um, uh, beauty and love and everything that you are, you do give out. And I wanted to make sure it returns to you as well. Oh, Nicole, thank you so much. I receive that. And yeah, Nicole, I just, and I take I feel... that. All right. So we're, we're sisters and friends for life. Um, gosh, I'm just so overcome now with that. That made, that's just made my evening. It really has. Um, I do have a heart message I want to talk about. Um, and this is it. Remember, remember this, while you're doubting yourself, there are people out there admiring you and your strength. They're looking up to you for inspiration and they're cheering you on. So remember that. Okay, that's my heart message for this week. Over to you, Paul. What's your heart message? 
I, you know what? I think it's got to be uh, boundaries and, uh, you know, you're what's important. You know, you have to take care of yourself first in order for you to take care of other people, whether it's spiritually or physically, but they all kind of work together. So uh, it's okay to say no, uh, but that allows you then to say yes to other bigger and better things that might get you where your, uh, where your journey is taking you. So uh, I don't know if that's that big of a heart message, but that's what I'm getting out of today's show is, is boundaries. It's okay to, and it's okay to say no to certain events so that other things can come to fruition in your life. So thank you for having me, AJ. Absolutely. I love that. That was perfect. Thank you. Yes. But keep those boundaries up. And Nicole, Nicole Vegas, over to you. I just want to put it out there to anybody that is struggling, feeling alone. You don't have to be alone. There is really good people to connect to. Uh, AJ and Paul, me, um, anytime you need anything, I'll do my best to help out and if i can't help out i will find people that have the resources to help out so definitely connect with me and um know that you're not alone you are not alone you're never alone um so thank you for that nicole and um i i had to reach over because my fan wasn't ready but here we go so uh until next time i'm gonna say au revoir Au revoir, Nicole. Au revoir, Paul. Much love and happiness. Thank you, AJ. And thank you, Nicole.